So in the summer, you can't really layer, right? So that's why it just makes sense that you need essential shirts that you could wear throughout the summer. So that way you don't have to worry about layering because with these shirts, you're always gonna look good. So in today's video, this is exactly what I'm gonna be talking about. The eight best shirts that you need for the summer of 2022. Now, especially where I'm at, it's not even summer yet and it is extremely hot. So all these shirts that I'm talking about, I'm already gonna be wearing. For example, the first one on the list is gonna be what I'm wearing right now and that is going to be a graphic tee. Now graphic tees are gonna be one of the best shirts that you can wear for the summer just because the graphic on them is already gonna stand out so you don't really need any extra jackets any extra layers you don't need to match your jacket with the shirt that you're wearing underneath you don't need any of that because with the graphic tee it stands out by itself it's already bold enough so that's why I think it's essential for the summer now me personally I like to have my graphic tees either a bit more oversized or in a boxier fit if you want to know which one I'm wearing right now it is going to be a Mac Miller shirt that I picked up from Paxson so speaking of that some of my favorite places to pick up graphic tees are gonna be Paxson H&M or if you really want something to be unique you could check out some thrift stores they're gonna have some graphic tees for like three or four dollars all right the second one is gonna be essential in literally every guy's wardrobe and that is going to be a plain fitted t-shirt now what I mean by plain is no logos no graphics nothing it's just one solid plain colored shirt the reason why I say this is because these shirts are gonna be the easiest to match with and then a little extra bonus that I really like about these if you're wearing any type of jewelry for example the necklace that I'm wearing right now it's going to look better on a plain fitted shirt and that's because no one's gonna be looking at the graphics when they look at your shirt all they're gonna see is either the color that you're wearing plus whatever jewelry that you have on so that's why I really like to wear them especially in the summer so again if I'm wearing some jewelry that I want to stand out and I want people to notice it a bit more I'm going to be sticking with a plain fitted t-shirt and like I said the one that I'm wearing right now this necklace that I'm wearing it's a feather it's gonna be from Buck Palmer this piece is pretty bold on itself I think it looks really nice so if I wanted to stand out I'll wear something like a fitted black t-shirt so that way more attention goes to it and this feather pendant that I got from Buck Palmer is something that I definitely want more attention for just because this pendant is really nice it's clean it's simple I really like the adjustable chain so that way I could always change the length of it so yeah I definitely recommend picking up a pendant like this especially wearing it with a fitted black t-shirt if you want some good places to pick up some fitted t-shirts I would definitely recommend rule of threads unique low and even H&M these three places have some of the best fitted t-shirts in my opinion the quality is there and these places are perfect to pick up shirts for the summer all right so the first two I'm not gonna lie to you these are no brainer most people should if not they already do have them in the wardrobe so now let's talk about pieces that not a lot of other guys are gonna be wearing but nonetheless I think they're still essential for the summer the third one is gonna be a plain oversized t-shirt now a lot of people don't really stick to oversized shirts and if they do have an oversized shirt it's gonna be a graphic tee but now let's talk about the first two combined a plain oversized shirt just gives you an extra element that you don't really see most guys wearing it's really something that you don't see too often so that's why I really like them and they give you a completely different aesthetic from what most people are wearing it definitely gives you more of a casual aesthetic, so if you want something to be a little bit more streetwear, I would definitely go with this. Especially in the summer, I feel like streetwear kind of depends on layering a lot, so if you want to stick to streetwear and you don't really want to overheat during the summer, I would definitely go with an oversized plain shirt. My favorite place to get them is going to be from Uniqlo. They're very affordable, the quality is amazing, that's exactly where I got the one that I'm wearing. So I definitely recommend picking one up like that. Alright, the next one I've talked about in the past already, but I'm still recommending them nonetheless, and that is going to be a camp colored shirt. Now this is going to be the main thing that I'm excited to wear over the summer, because this, if you did want to layer them, you definitely can. Nonetheless, they still look good by themselves. I think this is going to be one of the most versatile pieces in the summer, because like I said, you could layer them with a tank top, or you could wear them by themselves, but nonetheless, they still look good again it's something not a lot of other guys are wearing i guarantee you most of the time you're going to be seeing people with fitted shirts or some graphic t-shirts you're not going to really be seeing too many guys with some camp colored shirts especially if you're on the younger side if your goal is to stand out and look a bit nicer this definitely should be your next pickup now the ones that i'm looking at are from paxton they sell some really nice ones like i said i can't wait to pick some up i definitely recommend that you do as well all right the fifth one i mentioned kind of ties into the last one and that is going to be a tank top now Tank tops are gonna be a huge trend for the summer. Again, they're gonna be perfect because they're lightweight. If you throw this on, you're essentially wearing nothing. So you don't really have to worry about overheating. The only thing is with me, if I'm not inside the gym, I can't really wear a tank top by itself. So this is typically where I'll go to layer. So if I did want to layer in the summer, I would definitely pick up a tank top and a camp colored shirt. But nonetheless, I feel like tank tops are an essential shirt if you even consider them a shirt. But again, the main reason why I like this as well is because you could wear this in the summer and you could pick these up without spending too much money because you could pick them up at Walmart for 20 bucks. You can get about five of them. That's honestly why I like them so much. They're very affordable. If you want new pickups and you want to try something new, you don't have to go drop a ton of money because tank tops, again, they're around $20 at Walmart. All right, the next piece that I really recommend for the summer is going to be an Oxford shirt. 
Now, the reason why I say an Oxford shirt is because, yes, if you wear this in the sunlight, it can be really hot. So if it's really hot outside in the middle of the day, I definitely don't recommend picking up something like this. But if it is a cooler summer night, I definitely recommend an Oxford shirt because, because although it is a long sleeve and it can get kind of hot, what I recommend doing if it does end up being like that is you can roll up the sleeves and you have a completely different look. And also it gives you a little bit more of a dressed up vibe. So that's why I like them so much. Also, again, this is a piece that not a lot of other younger guys are going to be wearing. So if you want to dress up a bit nicer, if you want to stand out, I think this is a perfect place to start. And a lot of people would associate shirts like this with having a little bit more money. But the truth is you can pick up a nice Oxford shirt for a very low price if you shop at H&M, Uniqlo. Even ASOS is gonna have some really nice affordable ones. So I definitely recommend starting there. All right, the next one, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more controversial, but this is something that I've been into a little bit more recently, and that is going to be some brand name shirts. So, but before you go straight to the comments, here, let me clear this up. Yes, you don't need brand names. You don't need expensive clothing. You don't need to drop a ton of money to look good. That's something I've always said and that's something that I always will say. Having a brand name here and there can definitely switch up your outfits. And in my opinion, it definitely can get you a little bit more noticed because if someone really likes these brands and they see you wearing that brand, one, that's a conversation started right there. And two, you will typically get more compliments like that. Now, it doesn't have to be designer. As soon as I wore one shirt from Ralph Lauren, Everyone said that I was wearing designer clothes. This shirt is definitely more expensive than a normal regular shirt, but in no way, shape or form did I drop a ton of money on this. Of course it does all depend on your budget, but anyways, you can get these shirts on sale at Macy's at the actual Ralph Lauren shirt. I went to a Ralph Lauren store and I picked one up and I got 15% off just because I saw a sign that said, if I sign up for text message alerts, I get a 15% off my order. And that's exactly what I did. So I got a pretty decent discount on a brand name shirt. Like I always say, there's always ways to get around paying retail. And I picked up a shirt that I always get compliments with because the Ralph Lauren bear shirts. A lot of people are fans of them. So when I wear them, I typically get more compliments and it is a little bit more of an eye catcher rather than just a normal graphic t-shirt or a plain fitted t-shirt. So that's exactly why I've been liking them so much. Another one is going to be Tommy Hilfiger. But yeah, shirts like that, it's okay to pick some up here and there. All right, the next shirt that I'm going to be talking about is going to be another shirt that not a lot of other guys are going to be wearing. And that is going to be a polo shirt. Now, again, this is something that is going to be a little bit more dressed up and it's going to help you stand out if that is your goal. But nonetheless, before I used to be a big hater of polo shirts, I felt like they just didn't look good until I started to try them out on myself. And ever since then, now I have about five or six in my wardrobe. So that's exactly why I like them so much now. They definitely stand out, especially across a younger crowd. If I'm in a setting where I want to be taken a little bit more serious and a bit more mature, I would wear a shirt like this. I always say it's important to be ready for any occasion. You should be able to look good no matter which occasion you're going into. So if I'm going into an environment where again, I want to be taken more serious and I'm going to be talking to some adults. Typically, most adults will look at a younger guy. They automatically assume that they're immature, that they don't know what they're talking about, whatever the case is. But if you dress up a bit nicer, more adults will definitely be more inclined to speak with you. So my favorite polos are going to be from Express. I also have some from H&M. So nonetheless, I definitely recommend picking some up. Literally any shirt that I mentioned is going to be available in the description in case you wanted to find some for yourself. Anyways, I hope this video did help you out. And if it did, make sure to leave a like i'd really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed already in this channel i simplify men's fashion so i'm gonna leave a button for you to do that right here and if you want to see more videos right away here are a few that i think could really help you out but anyways other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video later